Welcome to my lecture online. Before we get into the details of the equations, let's just put all the equations on the board and get a general feel for them. Typically, when we're dealing with simple monic motion, we need to be able to answer the question such as, what is the velocity of the object as a function of its position? What is the acceleration of the object as a function of its position? Or, what is the position, the velocity, and the acceleration as a function of time? We should also know the angular frequency of oscillation. We should also know the oscillation frequency and the period of a single oscillation. And here's the equations go, that go along with that. So the velocity as a function of position is equal to plus or minus the square root of k over m times a squared minus x squared. Remember that k is a spring constant, m is the mass, a is the amplitude of the of the oscillation, the maximum distance away from the equilibrium point, and x is its position. The acceleration as a function of position can be found by taking minus kx over m. And then the position, velocity, and acceleration as a function of time, well, starting with the position equation as a function of time, it is equal to a times the sine of omega t. Now, depending upon the initial conditions, this equation right here could be a different equation. It could be this equation right there where we have a phase angle, or it could be a times the cosine of omega t, or negative a times the sine of omega t, or negative a times the cosine of omega t. All of those equations represent the position as a function of time for an object that is oscillating according to simple harmonic motion, and it's all depending upon the initial conditions when time equals zero as to which equation we pick, and later on we'll show you a video on how to do that. Once you have your initial equation for position, then you take the first derivative to find the equation for the velocity and the second derivative to find the equation for the acceleration. So then if this was the original position versus uh, as a function of time equation, then this would be the velocity and acceleration equations according to this equation. Of course, if you start with a different equation, then your velocity and acceleration equation would look different as well. The angular frequency of oscillation is simply equal to the square root of the spring constant divided by the mass of the object. The relationship between these two, this is the angular frequency, this is the, the oscillation frequency, and we know that the angular frequency is 2 pi times the oscillation frequency, so therefore f equals omega divided by 2 pi. And since we know that omega is equal to the square root of k over m, we can write the frequency as that. And then the period of the single oscillation is simply the inverse of the frequency, and therefore if we take the inverse of this equation, we get 2 pi times the square root of m over k. So these are the equations typically that we deal with when we have simple harmonic motion with no damping. So the energy in the system remains constant and it just oscillates forever, so to speak. Of course, once there is damping involved, there's additional equations that we have to deal with, but we'll attack those equations later. And that is how it's done.